Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about city facts. Uh, these are large biting flies that inhabit much of mid-continental Africa between the Sahara and the Kalahari deserts. They live by feeding on the blood of vertebrate animals and are the primary African biological vectors of, of trypanosomes, which cause human sleeping sickness and animal trypanosomiasis also known as Nagana. Sitsi have been extensively studied because of their disease transmission. These flies are multi-voltine, typically producing about four generations yearly and up to 31 generations total over their entire lifespan. Sitsi are crudely similar to other large flies such as the house fly, but can be distinguished by various characteristics of their anatomy two of which are easy to observe. Sitsi fold their wings completely when they are resting so that one wing rests directly on top of the other over the abdomen. Sitsi also have a long proboscis which extends directly forward and is attached by a distinct bulb to the bottom of their head. There are 23 species of Sitsi flies and I want to point out a pretty sad fact that uh, Diseases transmitted by Sitsi flies kill about 250,000 to 300,000 people per year. The biology of Sitsi is relatively well understood. Sitsi have been extensively studied because of their medical, veterinary and economic importance, because the flies can be raised in laboratory and because the flies are relatively large, facilitating their analysis. And uh, let's talk about human relations with Sitsi. Basically, human African uh, trypanosomiasis, also called sleeping sickness, is caused uh, by trypanosomes of the trypanosome brucei species. And uh, this disease is invariably fatal unless treated, but can almost always be cured with current medicines if uh, the disease is diagnosed early. Basically, this disease begins with a Sitsi bite and then infection moves into the lymphatic system. And as a result, Sitsi control has been uh, undertaken to reduce the incidence of the diseases the flies transmit. Sitsi control efforts have been undertaken throughout the African continent, but long-term sustainable control has rarely been achieved. Sitsi control efforts invariably are tied to the complex problems of poverty, health, politics and violence that have proved so disastrous for the African people. And that basically it for Sitsi Fly Facts. If you like this video, please take a moment and comment below, watch other videos on our channel and subscribe to our channel as well.